Welcome to Uncharted 2 Part 2. The Awakening! Or as I like to call this part, Dwibs, the reason why I'm not playing a Metal Gear Solid game for the channel. Yeah. Oh, are you... We'll just leave Aww. that... Dwibs will just leave that for me and Jova. Well, as Dwibs des described his gameplay um, style in the first part, um, I can tell you that I play games pretty much the same way. <laughs> Shit. Crap. Oh, never mind. The guard actually does notice uh, a a body there in this game. Nah, I think he just I saw guess. me. No, no, definitely saw the body because you were well out of sight before he started reacting. Okay, let's try this method. Lights out. Sweet dreams. Are you serious? You don't <laughs> see him. Ha! <laughs> Whoop! Oh, nut shot. Dun, 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 okay, dun, 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 uh, attempt free. Well, at least it's as brutal as Metal Gear. In a Metal, Ge in a Metal Gear game, you'd be outright killed upon being found. At least still, they'll just arrest ya. Yeah. It's like, it's European Extreme. You get caught, that's it. Okay, this is attempt free. Hopefully it'll be third time lucky, eh? <coughs> Hopefully, but the way you said that makes me think otherwise. Crap. Gee, thanks uh, a lot, Brit, for not helping out. Fuck. There yes, we go. Yeah. <laughs> Head to the okay, attempt four. Why is it that the Brits always come to us as Americans for help and yet and sometimes all tend all to leave us hanging? Uh, uh, okay, uh, please tell me that you edit through. Attempt five. Do we never has a weakness at editing. In fact, we've had to lecture him several times about the art of editing. I don't, I don't blame him. Edit, so, editing is a, a horrible business. Uh, no, <laughs> really? yeah, yeah, it's no, 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 but there's a thing, Shira. Right. Well, actually, Shira, in this case, not really, because all he has to do is cut a piece of footage, and uh, since he's using Movie Maker anyway, it's a really easy thing to do. He's just lazy. Hmm. Yeah. Very now, if you're cool. using Sony Vegas, I might see it because Sony Vegas is a bit more complicated. But heck, even with Sony Vegas, just learn a bit more and boom, hell, you've got a guy. Here's the thing. Here's the thing. The I don't use Sony Vegas more often is because Sony Vegas takes a much longer time to rent. <laughs> See, here, here, here's the thing, Shiroi. The Elgato software itself has an editing tool, so he could even already yeah. edit, edit the thing even before he renders it. So he's just being lazy here. Well, at least this isn't uh, Harry Potter and the Philosopher's Stone. <laughs> Never mind you, Pedro. Have you, Have you ever done? used Sony Vegas to render? Depends. Uh, depend like, for example, I did use it for the finale of Azure Legacy because, you know, I, I had very specific editing to do for that, for that specific credit surprise that I have. But uh, but mostly I use Movie Maker, since it works for what I'm, for ah. my purposes. Do you know any tricks how to make Sony Vegas render quicker? Because the main reason I use Movie Maker more often is because Sony Vegas takes a way long time to render. Uh, well, the, the rendering depends yeah, on... Yeah, for three on minutes. The, well, if you're doing... I've lost count of... I've lost count of how many times I've tried this now at this point. Mm -hmm. Okay, basically, saying, allow, 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 allow me, uh, depends on the kind of footage, the resolution and the quality of the footage you're rendering. If it's HD footage, definitely it's going to take a while, yeah. Oh, I know that. I know that. I know that. I mean, what I'm saying is like, well, uh, compared depends. to movie making, oh, yeah. so Vegas takes the, the thing is, the thing is, time. Vegas is better at uh, rendering certain codecs better than others. Like, uh, sometimes... Okay, if, oh, okay I, think, I, think I've, um, I think I've got this down now. All right. Proceed. Any you go on, Pedro. Uh, what I was about to say, yes. Why is he helping? Certain codex. Uh, let's just say, uh, let's just say, Deji, we're building up to something. Uh, yeah. But, uh, store version, he's lazy. Yeah. So he's like me. Yeah. So, I'm guessing, Pedro, that's usually render an MP4, like I usually do on Sony Vegas, or do you use a different codec to make things go quicker? Uh, Usually, again, I don't really render all that much in Vegas, I'm, so I'm not really familiar with all the codecs. I did it! I finally Fair enough, did it! Fair enough, fair enough. Oh, and it only you. took me a billion attempts. Yeah, I was just wondering oh, if there was like a trick to making it render stuff uh, uh, quicker. Uh, uh. <laughs> uh, side note, Shiro, what have you recorded for the channel? Uh, as of right now... As of right now, no. She did Sonic! Uh, actually... 
Actually, 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 she did Marvel Zone of uh, Sonic Omochow Edition. Oh, right, I forgot about that. That was fun. Da, 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 Basically, Deji, I've been without a computer now for what? a while, and I'm still Science without one. Yeah, right, don't worry, I feel your pain. Oh, that's brilliant. But guns, um, when I get it back, um, I will be recording um, Sonic 1, the, um, the mobile edition, since it's apparently the definitive version. Anyway, uh, the, That's okay. a, anyway, Harry brought in um, okay. a tranquilizer advice. guns. These things have lousy range. Yeah. So oh, gee, it would have been nicer to give us to them. Okay with that. But yeah, like you, said, like you said, you have to be, a, you have to be like right in the enemy's face, but you got to be just close enough so it will hit them. And I'm doing Sonic CD too. Yes, because um, heaven knows I'm, I'm not doing that one. <laughs> <laughs> because Dwibs kind of sucks at exploration. But I know, well, he doesn't like the game anyway. Yeah. Which game again? Sonic CD. All right. Yeah, I can see. I guess I can see where you're coming from. The level design I can. is unorthodox. I, yes. I don't. I, I, again, yes, I don't mind it, but yes, I prefer. Oh, fuck, I, prefer Captain, yeah. I, I, I prefer the main games. Yeah. Oh, Sonic CD is considered one of the main games. All right, right, just... uh, let me rephrase that. Yeah, I prefer the Mega Drive games in that regard because the Mega Drive games have much better level design in that regard. Sonic CD has some good level design here and there, and I, I love the Super Peel Out. Wish it did more, but it is nice all the same. Um, Ignoring it, uh... Collision Chaos completely. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Collision Chaos is. Uh, wacky Workbench says hello. Yeah, there's that too. Yeah. <laughs> workbench. Yeah, to be fair, with Wacky Workbench, I can still make my way through. Same with Collision Chaos. However, Collision Chaos earns its name because of how chaotic it's. I stuff think Collision be. Chaos is the worst of the two, but yeah, I get. <laughs> yeah, also, also before we end the CD conversation, I gotta say, um, I speaking of Wacky Workbench, um, I really don't like the Japanese sound music in that level, and the, the US version one's way better. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. There are definitely some tracks that are better on the I US version. I love both soundtracks, but are, yeah, there are some the tracks I prefer in each individual one over others. Actually, yeah. I prefer, like I prefer the US one in general. Yeah, like when it comes to uh, um, yeah, title Tempest, cool. I definitely prefer the US version with the la, 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 la. Me too. And I hate to say it, but yes, I prefer Sonic Boom over You Can Do Anything. Well, yeah, actually, yeah. no, I don't hate to say it because that theme is awesome. Yeah, you could do anything. It's just, um, it's just, it's just cringy English with. Yeah. Oh, it's cringy. Tech. It's awesome. Oh, Did you expect anything less? <laughs> uh, okay. Anyway, um, however, for, however, um, however, one thing we can all agree on, though, I definitely prefer the Japanese version of Stardust Speedway, especially Bad Future. Yeah, yeah they both. They, they both have their. I, 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 I like both of them. Well, the oh, bad, they do, yeah. I, I like both but, Bad Futures. Um, the rest I like of, both of them, yeah. It's just like, well, when it comes to, you know, iconicness. I, yeah, but, okay, anyway, um, let's uh, move on. And uh, now we're going to be doing some balancing. Yeah. Come on, do it. No, no, no oh. don't, and don't worry. Don't, by balancing, I don't mean we're going to have to be sorting out Nathan's bank accounts. No, 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 that's, yeah. for, the, that's for the fourth game. <laughs> yeah, could, I, I, could you imagine if, if sorting out Nathan's banking was a puzzle in the fourth game? Basically, sure. There's chapter four of uh, chapter four is literally called "A Normal Life." Yeah, is that actually where the um the first it, Crash Bandicoot level yes, appears? Yes, yeah. it, yes, it is. Oh, it's mm. one of two places where the first Crash Bandicoot level. Appears. I know where the second one appears, but the normal life. Yeah, another four. Oh. Another four. Never have you seen, seen the that, ending? A crash level in an Uncharted game. No, I haven't seen the ending. I already knew from the leaked footage that it would appear right at the end. Oh, so you uh, don't have seen stuff. it though because because uh, yes, Captain thing. Obvious to the rescue once again. Mm -hmm. yeah, for a second, that's well, Captain, 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 Captain Obvious oh, keeps showing hold on, up hold on, in our play for us. What is it, Deji? Uh, did anyone ever play that Uncharted game on the Vita? Uh, I, oh, yeah, never... the one that was made by the makers of Bubsy 3D. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> don't worry, don't worry, don't worry. If anything, that game, and in fact, the whole saga of where those developers went after Bubsy 3D is quite possibly one of the most famous video game developer stories of going from rags to riches. Maybe Big Red Button can do the same thing. 
Eh, they kind of have already done the reverse, but I'll give them credit. Rise of Lyric was bad technically, but it wasn't like something that's like point of no return. Like say, uh, Alexa. I disagree. Uh, anyway, let's uh, try to focus on yeah. the game. Well, you know when main stuff. Anyway, stuff. Um, okay, let's smoke go. Swinging. That's another thing you may remember from the first Uncharted game. Yeah. Using ropes for momentum and whatnot. Mm -hmm. Alright, there we go. And the ropes get a bit of an upgrade in Uncharted 4. Yep. In Uncharted 4, you literally get a, a kind of a rope with a hook on it that you can use to Rap. look at a sticky nice. situations. Hi. <laughs> Hopefully you survived it, Mr. <laughs> Guard. There's a guy below you. Okay, I'll admit, when he said there's a guy below you, yeah, I thought um, I thought he meant uh, the guy's going to swim to shore and call for Seriously? help. Seriously? You're really going to shoot the guy? Well, it's a tranquilizer oh, gun, so... Never mind, never mind, never mind, never mind, tranquilizer. Okay, um... Where are we? Alright, here we go. Is it this way? I don't know, Dubs, you tell us. You're the one playing the game. Maybe that's what he was wondering at the time. Yeah, yeah, I'm, I'm getting through. Basically, <laughs> um, because I forget a lot of things, I, I go for tactic B. Imagine I'm currently playing the game at the moment. Mm. Oh. Why <laughs> did you let go of the ledge? I thought there would be something below it. Oh. <laughs> and you did use the camera. Well, there is. The bottomless pit. Oh. Oh, well, I, well I, not I, a bottomless pit, it's just that he fell into rocks and died because of the I, impact. I, I had no idea. There the must be a game type. Yeah, okay, and that was a, uh, that's a downside to my um, habits of being a bit... Um, Impatient. Impatient and uh, clumsy. Mm -hmm. <laughs> oh, bye bye! <laughs> yeah. See ya. Well, at least you didn't kill him. Pretty. Mm -hmm. Probably, probably so, cold uh, in the water, though. Yeah. So by default, he is more sensible than Wonder Woman in that godforsaken unaired pilot. <laughs> that pilot was terrible. I still have not seen it. Don't. Don't. It's. Uh, it for, it, it if you want a terrible time, then go ahead. <laughs> wait, 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 wait. Is it worse than Batman v Superman? Uh, uh yes, yes. From what yes, I've heard, yes. Times, times, yes. Honestly, honestly, look. Okay, Batman v Superman can at least be fun for how stupid it is, and at least can be considered by some people to be a decent film. The other part of One Woman, no one has ever given that movie any credit. Nope. Let, keep this oh, in the mind, and keep this in mind, Deji, Warner Brothers themselves decided upon seeing this, nope, we are not airing this. And this let's, is Warner let's Brothers, which are people... Most of the people who say that Batman v Superman was a great movie are just saying that so DC can make more movies. Uh, much... If I can be a bit fair, I do see where some people who say that it's a great movie are coming from. It's a movie that suits their interest, ergo, they really enjoy it. Well, and I will give it this. Cutscene, guys. Cutscene. Come on, Chloe. There you go. Oh, just in time. That's Chloe cool. to the rescue. Anyway, before we um, before we move on, I'll just chime in. I don't mind DC doing things differently than Marvel because if all films were like Marvel Studios, oh, yeah, it'll be course. get it'll get pretty boring pretty fast. It's just the way they're doing it. That's my yeah. issue. Or, yeah, any or better yet, how about they ref how about they treat their characters how they're normally <laughs> portrayed? As? Yeah, exactly. Thank yeah, 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 yeah. It's like, oh, if I can give Batman v Superman one thing. Its main issues are how it handles the characters and how it handles its world. Uh, and it's uh, 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 just said, Aaron just said to Nathan, ladies first. 
<laughs> <laughs> well, yeah. age before beauty. Yeah. There you go. All okay. Right. All right. Now it's important cutscene stuff. So. Yes. Well, yeah, of course. We're about to find that lamp. Here we are. Oh, there it is. Yeah, and there's the acoustic alarm. Until we get this case unlocked, that thing's gonna go off if we so much as touch this glass. No worries, mate. Voila. <laughs> oh, in hindsight, I should have put in a um, I should have put in something right where an oh, alarm God, goes. It's I should have put in something <laughs> where an alarm goes off when he t when he fakes touching the glass. Sorry, Marco. <laughs> That's rule number one of um, Drake logic. Break stuff. It's as if it's the actual thing. Well, that's the understatement of the year. This is it. It's bloody useless. Or is it? The light of the great Khan. Khan! <laughs> Wait, you gotta edit that in. And... What are you doing? Yeah. It's resin. It'll burn. Yeah, it, right. It's been it's done to death like... by this point. Yeah. Is that really a good idea in here? There we go. There we are. Oh no, blue fire Azul is somewhere is nearby. Ah, jeez. Oh, wow, what's wrong with you? Oh it's, yeah, it's how far have you gone? Oh yeah, I really don't like her. If you remember, I really like don't. Who? To be fair, not that Azula. Oh, great. Oh, You're oh, not okay. supposed oh. to like her. We're not supposed to like this her, Shiro. She's a villain. <laughs> One of the greatest villains in animation. Uh, by the way, how far have you gotten into the series, Shiro? Have you gotten to the end yet? No, no, I'm not the the end the yet. Season anyway, 3. Anyway. I'm pretty sure I'm halfway through it. So yeah, apparently the treasure is in Shambhala. Would that mean something to you? Shambhala? Oh my god, Flynn. What? Marco Polo found Shambhala. Shangri-La. <laughs> Basically a mythical uh, ancient land. We'd still be there. Typical. So very fascinating, but we really gotta go. Yeah, I'm right behind you. Whoop. What the hell are you doing? Sorry, mate. This is where we part ways. Where Another typical British trait. You had a plan to traitors. Throw me the rope. Don't be stupid. Well, oh, yeah, portrayed right. as villains and just. Uh, well, to be fair, you guys. You know, unless you're a Bond character. It's, to be fair, you guys kind of did stab Americans in the back, where you know you repaid them for helping you in the certain war by taxing them, which led to the Revolutionary War. And then Benedict Arnold tried to betray the U.S. Flint. Listen, because he was British at heart. Basically, he just he just used the Nate to, to for him to figure out the riddle, the riddle for him. Uh, not yet. And then he's gonna need Nathan again. Whoops. Right, that's my cue. No hard feelings, yeah. <laughs> Asshole. <sighs> well, run for it. All right, here we go. Oh, this didn't go very well, did it? Yeah, yeah, just like in the first game, you have to use circle to evade laser tar targeting. Yes. And when I see press circle, I'm just going to be mashing that level of each shit out of the bottom whenever I can. Yep, because that's the only way you're going to avoid one kill shots. And that is the, And also, this is the Dwib's way of dodging stuff. Press everything. Hmm. That it's like, it's like seems laser... like it has a lot of flaws in its uh, wiring. Hey, so is, an, so is the flaws of pressing everything in an Ace Attorney game, but I'm tish. Well, you're not supposed to always press everything, of course. It, okay, yeah. Well, it depends on the situation. Unless the, the, unless yeah, the judge... Yeah, yeah. Unless, it uh, unless, uh, unless it's a situation with, with One Karma where we're not allowed to press everything. Usually I just press everything because I want to get as much dialogue as I can when I'm playing the first time. Oh yeah, me too. In fact, pressing is a great source of dialogue. Um... Oh, by the way, Shiro, you're probably wondering, where, where's Sully? Yeah. Uh, don't worry, we're about to see. And Charles Four. No, 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 actually, he's in this one, too. Oh, yeah, coming up is one of my favorite parts of this game. Yeah. In terms of the cutscenes. <laughs> <laughs> well. Not crap. this one, the one, the, this bit coming up. Here we go. Yeah, yeah, this bit's hilarious. Yeah. <laughs> you overlooked one little detail, didn't you, partner? What? <laughs> 
<laughs> He's gone insane. You've been played. <laughs> We've entered. Being uh, cooped up in a prison cell might do that Jack, to you. Ruining the show here. Ah, oh, what a shame. You've been played. Oh, really? Really? Well, jackass is still appropriate. <laughs> I'm doing just great. <laughs> All right, I'll also the one that's coming about the bucket. I had to grease a few palms. Did go through the rest of your money. And a good chunk of my own, but... Oh, there, there, there you go. There you go, Dwebs. Jesus. That, that's where the money went. Not half as bad as that cigar. Yeah. Hey, how'd you find me? Well, a uh, friend of yours asked for my help. Uh, Hello, Nate. You. No, now wait a second. Sully, kick her out and shut the door. We're safer in here. Just wait a guy <laughs> a minute. <laughs> Thank you, Victor. Hey, no offense, Sully. But you're not exactly the best judge of character. Especially when it comes to women. Fair enough. <laughs> All the same. Dear God. Oh, oh no, listen. it's not that bad. Look, I have my own bucket. Mm. <laughs> Last cell I was in, eight of us had to share. Listen, Nate. <laughs> listen, I really appreciate you dropping by. If you and Flynn hadn't screwed me over in the first now, place, I wouldn't have been rotting in this shithole for listen, the last three Nate. months. So excuse me if I'm not just, you know, leaping into your arms. I had nothing to do with it. Right. Right. I told you. He's not going to listen to me. Screw well, can States. you blame him? They found the ships in Borneo. Yes. And the Chintamani stone? How do you know about that? Do you really think Flynn could have figured that out on his own? All right, good point. No, hmm. they haven't found it yet. What do you mean, they? Flynn and his client, Lazarevich. You know, Ooh, Lazarevich. We're, we're going to be seeing an uh, uh, interesting villain in this game. Mm -hmm. If they haven't found the stone, that means there's still time. You're gonna get us into that big site. We're gonna snatch that treasure right out from under them. Don't ever see it coming. Damn, well, payback's a bitch. So oh, now yeah. you, you see, in the first game, the motivation was to keep the treasure they from being found because, you know, you know, for the sanity. Here, it's this good old fashioned payback. Sully, listen to this. Ain't that the greatest motivator? The most precious thing to be found in all the world. Always. Perfect raw sapphire, the deepest blue. Larger around than the reach of a man's arms. Oh, that's gotta be worth millions. Hundreds of millions. And you say this. Yeah, that could be enough to fund two to new Uncharted games. Dollar from Marco Polo's <laughs> journals. He's been after the Chintamani stone for years. <laughs> well, if he's been counting on Flynn to find it for him, it's no wonder he hasn't had any luck. <laughs> if I can get a look at Lazarevich's files. Yeah, man, that Jover could also help fund, um, like, this, this, this survival horror, horror game. attorney games. And this, oh my god, I can finally just, find a ghost trick sequel. <laughs> awesome. It's like an armed compound. There are soldiers And maybe a world ends with you too, Pedro? That's why it has to be an um, inside job. From or at least a re-release to get it recognition. Oh. Okay, I see where this is going. Oh, right, never mind. I could use that money to help buy um, old unused IPs. Well, that's great. I won't even. Uh, oh, like Crash Bandicoot. Well, ones I can afford. <laughs> or that can be arranged. Are you in? Oh, oh yes. Brilliant. <laughs> You know, there are other ways, lady. I know, I know, but so, uh, I'm, I'm guessing she, I'm guessing they keep asking this of her. Borneo. <laughs> you reading us? Good old Australia. We're getting close. All right, time to, find the, time to find the temple. Chapter three, okay. Borneo. Bubbles. And we will do so in the next part where uh, we're going to be, um, we're going to make sure things go off of a bang. See you, everybody.